The civil rights movement was a pivotal time in American history. To help shed light on this historic period, Largo resident Luther Wright opened a new exhibit called History's Garments. It's on display at the Culture Coffee 2 in D.C. Keisha Butts has a peek. Artist Luther Wright has a new exhibit called History Garments at Culture Coffee 2. As you can see, some of the paintings are right behind me. He uses these pieces to showcase the civil rights movement. It's based on the fusion of fashion and the civil rights movement. This is Wright's third solo exhibit. For this one, he wanted to put a new twist on a historic movement. I just think it's important because um, history repeats itself. So it's important that we know where we came from to know where we're going. So I just think it's important that we pay tribute to the people who came before us. He has more than 12 pieces, including this one called Was Slavery an Option? A direct response to Kanye West's controversial statements. The chemical reaction process I used on the head was to show that how this breaks us down as people over time. But if you see that it still shines and sparkle to let us know that we still shine through this type of resilience. It's outstanding. Uh, one thing, uh, growing up in the South, I grew up in South Carolina, you know, during the racist era. So I have four daughters, and um, after they saw the paintings and everything, they was like, wow, Dad, why didn't you tell us about this? I said, I did tell you about it, but she wasn't listening. You know, so now they understand, you know, what we had to go through. The paintings make you want to go and di dive in deeper and look at the history of um, America. Wright's exhibit will be on display here until the 28th, and then it's moving to a new location in D.C. He hopes that this display will help people understand history. For CTV News in Northeast D.C., Keisha Butts. Thank you, Keisha. She also tells us that Wright has another display that is currently at the 39th Street Gallery in Mount Rainier called the Celebration of Black History.